We're back in Richland at Lulu Craft Bar and Kitchen, where they're serving up some delicious farm-to-table dishes. We live in Pasco, and this is one of our favorite spots. Great meeting place to come after work or um, in the middle of the day for a nice lunch. Chef and owner Cindy Goulet says that an important part of the restaurant is to work with farmers and farmers markets to incorporate fresh and locally grown products as much as possible. You know, this is such a huge agricultural area and so to really shine a light on it, to really let them know what is grown in this area. What are you and I going to make? So we're going to make roasted carrots with a harissa sauce. It's got some Greek yogurt on it, and then it's got some roasted garbanzo beans. So what do we need to do first? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the, making the harissa sauce. So harissa is an African spice, and so what we do is we roast peppers, um, and you can roast them on the stove here. After the pepper is roasted, we peel the skin off and take the seeds out. Get it all black, black. and then... then you, yeah, you take the black <laughs> take off. off. <laughs> and then what you would do is you would just give them a quick rinse, and that kind of gets all the rest of the black off of there. And you so. grew up on a farm. I grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. I grew up in North Franklin County, so about 30 miles north of Tri-Cities. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents still live there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what did you grow? So when we were growing up, we grew sugar beets, which, which they don't actually grow sugar beets anymore. Okay. Um, lots of corn and wheat and potatoes. Do you use um, stuff from your family farm in the restaurant? We do. So we use all the potatoes, uh -huh. all the onions, all the beef, and most of the pork come That's from awesome. Easter awesome Day farms. Awesome to have that source yeah. and being so family connected, mm -hmm. you know. The next step is to blend the pepper with some olive oil and harissa spice. Then it's time to start working on the carrots. I start peeling while Cindy begins to roast some on the stove. When our um, chickpeas are boiled, and uh -huh. then we're going to take them and we're going to put them on a pan like this. Mm -hmm. Again, add a little bit of oil and we can put these in the oven here. Awesome. So, when they're done, they're gonna That's come out like. and oh, look wow. nice and crispy. I'm gonna try one. Yeah. Great crunch, mm. great texture. After I finish slicing my carrots, we splash them with some olive oil and throw them in the oven to crisp up. Look at that. And... How fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these Yeah. That's a cool texture. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're ready to plate. Okay. This is one of my favorite parts so, because it means that we're close to trying it. Yes. <laughs> to plate, we first lay down some Greek yogurt and top it with the harissa sauce. So then we're going to lay the carrots on there. Then we finish it with our crispy carrots, some crispy chickpeas, and some fresh mint. That's beautiful and fresh and healthy. Yeah. I don't know why I sound surprised. <laughs> it's healthy. Sometimes it's hard in the restaurant, right? <laughs> awesome. That is beautiful. Okay, so do we get to give it a we try? We get to taste it. Yeah. A little bit of everything here. Mmm. That is good. I love the chickpeas that are crunchy. Mm-hmm. And then the yogurt is a little bit warm from the roasted carrots, and it's nice and creamy. Yum. Awesome, thank you so much, You're Cindy. You're welcome. This is great. I'm gonna eat some more. To get the recipe for Lulu's roasted carrots with harissa sauce, head over to wagrown.com.